Last week, Begunyi were like a lot. Abanye Bati Zalani. She's overtaken Rema as the most streamed uh, artist from Africa on Spotify with 30.1 million monthly listeners. Marcus Yusta killed himself, bro. Who's Marcus Yusta, dog? Uh, Marcus Yusta is the former CEO A.S. Stein, Steinoff. Politicians are trying to portray themselves as heroes and that they are saving black people. I don't know from what. <laughs> from themselves. <laughs> from themselves, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, well, you can't hide from black Twitter. Do, do you think he has a leg to stand on, though? To some degree, but I don't know his full story because... He doesn't have a degree, so... He doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Introducing Color Space, a stock photo platform dedicated to showcasing images of black people. Whether you're a professional photographer or you just know your way around a smartphone, sign up, submit your photos, and start earning through your creativity. Visit www.colorspace.co.za. Umshuti um, Wabashuti is in the building. And of course, I'm never alone. I'm with the boy, Lives. How are you, bro? What's up? What's up, my G? You oh, good? Man. Ah, too smooth, man. Yeah. Too, too smooth. It's been a good week, hasn't it? It's been a interesting week. Interesting week, yeah. Very Lots of news, yeah. Lots of news, eh? Last week, Begunyi were like a lot. Abanye Bati Zalani. Abanyo. Some are saying just have more kids. Whether you're rich or poor, have kids. That's the Julius, government right? will pay. That's <laughs> Julius, right? Yeah. Yeah, Julius said that in a statement. It is actually here in our trending topics, but we're going to speak about that later. The first thing is Marcus Euster. Hey, Marcus Euster killed himself, bro. Who is Marcus Euster, dog? Uh, Marcus Euster is the former CEO A. Stein Steinoff. Okay. Right? Uh, Steinoff was actually a listed company. In the in the Johannesburg stock market, I think even in the German market, if I'm not mistaken, because they had a partnership with with a company in Germany, so that they can expand throughout the world. They had presence in Australia, in Europe, in Africa. Like they were moving weight. I think they even penetrated the U.S. at some point. Is that the reason why this guy is in the news, or is in the news because some people are saying he owes people? Uh, he owes a lot of people. He ripped off a lot of people. One person being uh, Christo Vese. He's the, um, he's the founder of Pepco. Yes. Yeah. At some point, he lost his billionaire status because of this guy. So he was a billionaire. And because of this guy, this guy yeah. stole money from him? Uh, he ripped him off. He ripped him off, basically, by lying. Guma, guma, was it balance sheets? Or what? Probably balance I sheets, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About how much is coming into the business and all those kind of things while he was living a leveraged life. So do you think this guy killed himself? That's my next thing. Uh, I mean, I'll say yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> and at the same time, right? Uh, yeah. Because we've between. seen a similar case. Yaga, um, uh, Gavin Watson. Gavin Watson, yes. yes. Yeah. Apparently, he also passed away at the airport. And of course... Hey, that one was people. proper staged. In fact. Right? Properly staged. Yeah, it huh? looks like it was properly staged. But I mean, a lot of people are saying it wasn't staged. Um, and of course, you know, we don't want to be the people that are insensitive. Yeah. Of course, yeah. uh, arrest in peace to him. Right, Condolences but, to, uh, the, to the family and the friends. But of course, some people are saying he was selfish for actually killing himself because he owes so many people and he's got questions to answer to. Do, do you know what led to this? What led he to was this? slept with a 470 million fine to pay. He, I think he had two days to pay it. Ah, and then the following million. day, on the day that he was meant to pay, or the day before he was meant to pay, he killed himself. Surely this guy has been asked to pay before. He, he's paid 40 million before in fines for, I think it was manipulating the stock market. He, he knew that the, the fine is quite low. Oh, okay. Like 20 or 40 million that he had to pay at some point. He thought he was out scot free. Yeah. But I think in, in its whole enti uh, entirety, he he stole stole or whatever Mishandle two hundred yeah. billion two hundred billion rand billion rand in total yeah yeah that is crazy that is quite a lot so that is the news on um, Marcus Euster Marcus Euster I almost yeah. said Kevin Watson Marcus Euster that is quite shocking news actually I know that it's making the rounds everywhere especially in the corporate world mm -hmm. uh, but I also see uh, some sad news terrorist attack terrorist attack in in Russia. Okay. Uh, Was there arrest... a terrorist attack there? Yeah, yeah. They arrested the four guys. <laughs> uh, I think Batolama life sentence, which I don't believe. They're probably going to execute. Got, got killed, yeah, for sure. And they're quite young. I think the oldest from the four is 28. Wow, that is very young. Yeah, I think the oldest is 28. One is 24. Uh, I forgot the other ones, but the one has four kids. Dog, it's... I, I wouldn't say it's sad because they also wanted to kill people. Oh, for so, sure, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, speaking of like uh, people stealing stuff, there was um, yesterday. Mm. I drove past um, the thing I say by Alex, yeah, the, by the Alexandra off ramp. Yeah, there was cops uh, on guys oh, laying damn. on the floor. I think people I think might have seen that on Twitter. Six, six, five guys were laying. Yeah, I actually yeah. drove past and I took Is a it? video of them. So I have a video of them laying. There. I just put it in. Yeah, put I'll, it put, in. I'll put, I'll put <laughs> it in. I'll show you guys of the video there. But it's basically these guys laying on the floor, and the news was that. They were trying. They were on their way to a robbery because they were using a, a delivery truck, like a courier truck. No, they wanted to rob the delivery no, truck. No, they were all together with the in delivery the delivery truck, truck. going somewhere else. Ah, so apparently, they, I mean, when I drove past the scene, the only doors that were wide open was that back here. So yes, it looked like I think it looks like they were trying to get the delivery truck. Yeah. But I think it, the delivery truck was part of the thing to make it because when they get to the location, make it believable. They, yeah. When you ah. imagine you come there with a Ram career truck, sure. like most of the time. And like, one was wearing like overalls. Of course. Are gone. Yes. And most of the time, some people literally just open the gate when they see such things when they're expecting a delivery. Yeah. So uh, that happened. And then we see what Juju. What is Juju saying? Hey, Juju is telling people to Pacha, pacha. <laughs> <laughs> is it pie? Why do you call it? Chof, chof. <laughs> chof, chof, yeah, he's telling, yeah he's telling people that whether you're rich or poor, just make more kids. The government will pay for those kids because he's increasing the child grant from 510 to 1,020 rand. He's going to increase it. Yeah, he's going to double it so from what it is. More babies. So people must have more babies because 1,000 rand can sustain a whole family. We spoke about this, ne, Uguti. Um, this is a government strategy to... I don't want to say to keep more people poor because some people might not be poor. He's not just talking to a poor people. But we know the more babies you have in South Africa, I mean, or anyway, it's just more cost, right? Yep. Like, why would you want to have more babies yep. when you know that you can't even take care of them? Yep. And he's saying, I'm going to increase your grant. I'm going to increase your grind. So they have more babies. Have more. That's like in first world countries, you should, you should notice there's a pattern. They're having less and less kids. Like there's a genera- in, in Japan, it's even worse, right? In Japan, just their dating dam- dynamics are, are, are crazy, bro. These people are dating uh, virtual, virtual um, partners. They have virtual partners. I've heard of that stuff. Apparently... Yeah. So there was a time where they didn't, um, I'm sure we all heard this conspiracy theory, but I don't know if it's true. I think it's true. Where they used to say China, but they don't want to, you have more than two kids. Yes, or something yes, like yes. That. If it you have two, thing. they execute one. Yeah. Yeah. But now they're actually having a problem because what's happening is um, women are not finding enough husbands. So there's not enough men around. And men were also taught, like, as in I... Mm. go your own way yeah, yeah. but now um you know men are finding leaders. pleasure in in the virtual space yeah, ai so is their yeah. beyonce that's so crazy <laughs> and there's a lot happening right there's now. actually a documentary that i watch it's it's crazy people pay to go for lessons just so just so that you can be with a guy walk around with them in the park go for a picnic you pay <laughs> that guy how, how just be Dinala, they you? call us useless <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we, can, we can ask Chad GBT if we yeah. want to. Uh, hey, Tyler. Tyler is making waves. Eh? So on the picture with Kanye. She was with oh, LeBron. With yeah, she was with I Kanye. I saw with LeBron, yeah. LeBron James. I saw she also curved Kai, who is the streamer. Ooh. He, she curved him. That's not a good Ooh. thing. To cur- I think Kai asked her, asked her out and then she was like, she said something like, I, she, I had a boy. You ain't Cape Tonian yeah, enough for me. Not enough for me, my boy. <laughs> But Tyler's doing absolutely well, man. We see that um, she's overtaken Rema as the most streamed uh, artist from Africa on Spotify with 30.1 million monthly listeners. Dude. And she just launched the album last week. coming this on Dude. Friday, I think. Or the yeah, Friday. Before. Friday. Launch on Friday. Wow. Dude. That's actually... Um, and the features there. Ghana is there. I saw. You remember? Yeah. Ghana is there. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Remember, we saw Uncle Waffles um, come up, but this is bigger. Eh? This, this, uh, this dog, is Grammy. This dog. is like, this is not like, there's not sort of Drake shouting you out. Uh, but my lady's like, this is Illuminati. How, how, but, how but, can this happen? Like but, out of nowhere. Now you with Kanye and this and this. It has to be Illuminati. Um, <laughs> I mean, but um, shout out to Tyler because she's been recording for a very long yeah. time. She's been an artist for a very, nah, very long time. Nah, she's talented, man. Her talent she, aside, she's like, good, man. yeah, we're not even going to count that part. But the fact that she's with all these stars like dude, this, dude, dude, I'm, ho- I'm, I'm hoping, Oguti, nothing like a Diddy situation happens. Ish. Like to her, like not like a Diddy, but like um, you know where they play her. Yeah, like, we, we see her. In we the must make if Diddy. Diddy does something, the whole of South Africa must fly. Are we flying to there, LA, bro? boy? Are we flying to there? LA? He stands no yeah? chance, bro. We're gonna take our boys from Cape Town, <laughs> from KwaZulu. Yeah, 
put them in one <laughs> air pass. <laughs> <laughs> but now I think we might as well also solve the beef. I got to take no future one oh, on that side. These guys are fighting over a stripper. Oh yeah. Yep. So they, they what they both want a stripper. I, I think one has been with her and the other has also been with her. So while they are pillow talking, they are pillow talking, saying other things about <laughs> the the home. Oh shucks. About the other home, and then I think. They, they've they been throwing subliminal shots at one another for the longest time. Only they knew that they were beefing with each other. We didn't know. We listened to tracks like, what would Pluto do? And we're like, but, oh, but that time it's, it's shots. <laughs> it's shots. But now where does Kendrick come in all of this? Because Kendrick is involved in all this. Kind of and stuff. Ross is also involved now. Oh, Rick Ross. Yeah. Uh, Nave also unfollowed Drake. So it feels like Drake is the, is the enemy. Uh. Drake was born in at one point, so maybe that's why the homies are like, nah, this is, this <laughs> maybe is they wrong. feel intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was once a Drake video that leaked of his, uh, private <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's is that but, happening for the yeah, week? Yeah, that's everything last week, man. I think, yeah, we, we've covered most, um, most of the important things that happened, but you know, Zippo, the mother of eight, come up here Ish. for Tuesday. Oh, that's for Tuesday. Tuesday. The busiest day. The busiest day. Ah, okay. Yeah. You see, now we are jumping the car, <laughs> Zooms. Yeah? Are you markers? <laughs> yeah, la, la. Hey, too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. <laughs> too soon, too soon. All right, so uh, let's get to the top trending uh, hashtags and all that other stuff that comes with it. Let's talk about the total tweets from last week. So we're seeing 6.7 million, which is basically similar yes. as last week. Yeah. And then in terms of the people that tweeted last week, you're just seeing a 1% increase from the week before with 111,000 and just uh, a few more, some change here and there. Mm. So that's about a 1% increase. But we talked about the trending topics, a terrorist attack, Julius Malema. And then the birthday dinner, what's happening with birthday dinner? Oh, I saw some some pictures were going out. People were going out for a birthday dinner. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Whose birthday dinner was this? I, I don't know whose birthday dinner it was. But all I know, I, I hope it's not that nice now one. Did you hear about the Neisner trip where the friend couldn't afford? Now they're like, the friend should wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girls are slayer, bro. So are girls, Would you do that to me? Like, <laughs> if I didn't dishes. afford a trip and it's your birthday, you bought everything. No, uh, that, I'm like, yo, I want to come through. You're like, homie, you need to deliver. No, At least carry my bags or no, something. No, no, those are not friends, bro. Those nah, are not friends. But, but I also understand the host. The host paid for everything. She, she just said, pay for your flights and buy me a gift. That's all. And then what happened? They bought flights. They didn't buy gifts. So now they're saying clean dishes somewhere. Do something. Which is something cool. must be done. I mean, yeah. Why did you come? Wh- why? That's that's tense. also my yeah, thing, right? T- I'm 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 on two sides. I'm good and bad. I'm I'm a good and bad cop at this. Yeah, yeah I hear you. I'm also. Good, I'm also good, I wouldn't do that to my friend. But that's that's the bad. Yeah. That's the bad. The good is, I would rather not go and buy you a gift. Actually, that's much easier instead of getting that flight ticket. But, yeah. But content, you know content, bro. Nah, I'm not a content guy. I know. I, but, but these ones must have, must have been con- content because why didn't they buy the gift but they managed to fly and stuff like that. Like, just buy the gift and keep it moving. Dude. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's an interesting one. Um, what but did she even hire a chef for them? Imagine, hire a chef for you guys. You can't even buy a lousy baby girl. But then the other thing is some friends will tell you, why are you, in, why are you making me pay on your birthday? It's it's buying me a gift. I'm not. You're not paying for anything. You're just buying me a gift. Why do I have to buy you a gift? What if what if I can't afford to buy you a gift? But uh, you're my friend, and I want to come. But they agreed. Oguti, everyone agreed. They had a group. They they spoke months in advance. Okay, fair. and everyone agreed. But yeah, buying you a gift. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody doesn't come around. <laughs> hey, that's a fair point, to be honest. But let's move on to the next one. So we've got the negative sentiment, which went down by 1%. Just Ooh. over 1.5 million negative words that went out. But we'll talk about that just a little bit. What contributed to that? And in terms of the positive, it also went down, unfortunately, with just under a million tweets. Yeah. And we're also going to talk about exactly what took that down. So, Lives, can you talk to me the, uh, the negative sentiment? Because I'm seeing a few words coming up here. Yeah, so the negative is mostly people as the biggest word that you can see on this word cloud. But yeah. when I clicked on it, it actually goes into black people. Oh. Yeah. 
So it's a, a lot around black people and it's because of the politics and all those kind of things. There's a lot of agendas that people are pushing, right? For sure, yeah. Uh, politicians are trying to portray themselves as heroes and that they are saving black people. I don't know from what. <laughs> from themselves. <laughs> from themselves, from probably. Themselves. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, there's killed. Uh, people are getting killed. There's heist. Like, a lot of bad things are just happening, man. I don't understand. There's money. People are stealing money. Oh, yes, there's definitely a lot going on. I mean, not so long ago, we had a guy who could lie about his qualifications. Dude. We have Marcus Eustace stealing some money. Um, we have Matthew, uh, the f- bogus Matthew doctor. Ulani. He's suing the Department of Health. Health. That's like, crazy. Homie. But you know, most likely he'll win some money from that case. That's the crazy part. The state, <laughs> and then pursue his doctorate. Yeah, for sure, because the state is there to look after you and not to destroy you. And so I think in this case, they'll find ways like to... A remedy do, situation. Do you think he has a leg to stand on, though? To some degree, but I don't know his full story because he doesn't have a degree. So he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Uh, <laughs> I know all I know is he doesn't have any qualifications, so he's not a real doctor. He's yeah. just practicing. So I don't know what he's doing them for, but it'll be interesting to see what he's doing them for. We know that Matthew Lani, I'm not going to call him Dr. Matthew Lani. <laughs> Matthew Lani <laughs> last year trended quite a lot and we was we did talk about him in our yeah. season one. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. But I don't think, you know, he has any leg to stand on, but we'll see. I mean, you know, the government is flimsy these days and maybe it's just another strategy to make some money uh, with somebody in there. Clean. And then go, go positive. Ah, positive, you know, there's God. I actually did a deep dive with this Arabic writing. There's this guy that's... Um, based here in, in Johannesburg. I think he's from Pakistan or something. Okay. But he writes in Arabic. Okay. And then his tweets show up because he gets a lot of engagement, I think, from outside. Okay. Yes. So people obviously must be doing some translation. 100%. Or I can find his name for you. Uh, his name is... I'm seeing here, just so while you're looking for that, Kosi is also on here. Uh, good morning. God is obviously in big congratulations. Mm. And then Yolanda is... That's yeah, y- Yolanda already left um, BB, BB Mzansi, Mzansi, yeah, but sure she, did, she, yeah. she was loved, bro. She was loved. Wasn't she your favorite to win? Me? Mm. No, no, no. Liam. No. Liam. Okay. Well, but she's, she's out. Like, she's also out. Yeah. yeah. So it's quite tough. Uh, so the guy's name is Ahmed Hassan Bobok. Is it Ahmed or Ahmed? Is it Ahmed or Ahmed? Uh, you must say it in Arabic, chief. Eh? <laughs> Ahmed. Ahmed. Okay, that's uh, the name. Okay. That's a- we must definitely check him out and see what he's saying because, I mean, he's trending quite a lot in South Africa. It's not the first time that we see the writing. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so it must be him definitely saying some stuff on there. But that is all on the positive and the negative. And then on the busiest day what and the busiest hour, what are we looking at? So the busiest day last week, we gave it away earlier, is Tuesday, but just under a million tweets. But yeah, there was there was some activity. Eh? When I say activity, I mean uh, I think the biggest thing that happened was the um, the the Nozipo thing. Can you tell me about the Nozipo? Because I actually don't know it at all. So I saw some videos on Twitter. It was an an argument between a father figure, which I believe is the husband, Yaga Nozip. Yes. And they have, I think, eight kids together. Ah, I know this clip. Yes. yes. And he was like, just give me my car keys. I want to leave this, 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 this. And then everyone on Twitter just sided with the female, right? For sure, yeah. Oti, why is he being like this? Yeah. But my question is, it's exactly that. Why is he being like that towards his wife? So there's a bigger... There's a bigger thing, there's a bigger narrative behind that because, Tina, we just see the one side and we think we can judge. But the one thing I will say is that niggas were wild. So I think there is some point to some degree. And I re- I'm arguing with you on this one. reason why is because everybody was calm. Mm-hmm. Even the wife was calm. Mm-hmm. Everybody was just saying, can we speak? Nobody was saying, um, But that's how it is. Manipulators are like that. They'll act like they are innocent and sure. they will make you look crazy. Sure. And we, they made homie look crazy. Uh, how, why would you leave your wife with eight kids? There's a problem somewhere. So, there. So, some, people are, some people are definitely saying that it, he's the problem because he's got things that he's doing outside. But there's so much that's going on right now with that story. I wouldn't say that we take sides, actually, yeah. to be honest. Because yeah. I do know that that lady has been in the news quite a few times with that guy about a few things. Mm. And so I do think that the lady might have something a leg to stand on against him because this guy is... 
Abanye bathi there is uh, chemical engineering involved. In the whole game. But the wife was, hey man, you know people, it's not me, it's on Twitter, they wrote that. For sure, yeah. yeah. But it must be uh, something else, knowing that, you know, seeing a video of yourself and your kids begging you and your helper and your mm. wife begging you to speak on camera. Yeah, I mean, I'm, only, I'm just wondering what led and to And now her. you're recording my uh, things that happen at home and you put it out to the internet to judge our family the other thing the other thing is could be safety for her too it's proof for her to be like i'm trying something with this guy so that's what i'm saying you can't take but sides. why putting it on the internet why don't you keep it for yourself trust me uh, you know with these cases like this where gents like and similar cases have happened before where gents get together with ladies and then they just don't want to pay maintenance they're just dead beats because we know there's a lot of dead beat niggas out here you probably should find she's just trying to show evidence what guys i've been trying with this nigga we are all begging him in so many ways we've probably gone to the court we've done in so many ways so the best way even if i keep it what's that going to do because i could take my phone or whatever mm. or whatever but if i put it on social media i might get support from somebody and from some people who might hear my story out and i'm saying Chill out I disagree. I'm saying chill out a little bit on supporting yeah. this guy. I'm not supporting the I homie. I'm are. just saying, like no, no, no. I'm just saying, good. Let's understand both sides before we choose. Good. The lady might be doing this and this. Why are we not saying the guy, the guy, the guy? Because I'm saying let's you know look what? at both sides. I think if he, if the guy has something, he then he will he will come out too. He, he will He's do... probably not that nigga. No, He's probably no, not an no, internet but, homie. No, but once you've got laws and people involved, you you have no choice but to speak. So I'm saying like right now, it's, yes, it's on social media. But I'm sure in some way or another, which is fine. It's also uh, right. That's what he wants. He probably wants to talk to the judge. He doesn't want to talk to social media. But they're going to tell you what to do. Mina, I'm saying let's predict this in two weeks' time. The story is going to come out that guy was doing something, some shady, and that lady. No, that guy is he's going to marry another chick. I guess. Yeah, bro. Another lady, let me not say check. But why? There's a reason why Ah, he's ah. leaving his wife to go marry someone else. Maybe there's also a reason why she's wanting him to leave. You see, there's two sides of the story. But she doesn't want him to leave. She probably probably does. They just want to talk. That's what I'm saying. We don't know know anything. And and that's why that lady messed up Mokfaga Lento on social media. Now everyone has an opinion in their business. I think she did well. I don't know what the situation is. And I'm nah. saying for defense because I know a lot of shit goes on behind closed doors, especially with these niggas these days and it, even women these days. People show much shit happens behind closed doors, bro, that uh, when so you put it on social media. Now the media, kids, right? At school. Now, they, uh, now the whole business is out there. But what's worse? Suffering in silence? Rather tell your friends. Tell your family. But call yeah, your but family. It looks like she clearly has because everybody was there. So who's going to help on social? Somebody, there's lawyers. That's why. That's why the thing. That's why something like um, the lento guy, guy, we used to help people. You come on social media, you say your problems. But they look they like they are well off. She can pay for a lawyer. She uh, doesn't need a freebie. Yeah, hey, looks from looks, bono. Could, looks could be deceiving. But anyway. Anyways, um, let's move on. Ngati says to involve <laughs> <laughs> this There's quite a lot happening with this no zipo, no zipo, no zipo, no zip, no zip situation. But yeah. Um, I see Tina Kushasa. But, um, uh, guys, let us know what you think of the situation, too. What's your opinion on this? I mean, there's so much going on uh, around the situation. We definitely want to know what you guys think of this, so let us know in the comments. But we're going to move on to the next topic, and um, we've got the top trending hashtags now. Uh, I think let's just look at the busiest hour first. The busiest hour, sure, yeah. yeah. So, so in the morning, what do we have? 10 a.m. and 9 a.m. Okay. That's the morning, highest. And then in the evening, the best time to post is around uh, 8 p.m. and 7 p.m. Dope times. And this is definitely on Twitter. If you want to be interacting on Twitter, these are the times to be posting. 8, I mean, uh, at 10 a.m. and 9 a.m. Yeah. And in the evening, 8 p.m. and 7 p.m. So that is really, really dope. And then should we look at the top trending hashtags? Or is that all? Le- yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all. We can look at the top trending now. Eh? Okay, the so top, top. There's quite a lot happening in the top trending hashtags. I mean, we're seeing a new entry here. Hashtag R. Real Housewives Durban. of Durban. Yeah, the yeah. Housewives of Durban with 12,000 mentions and 127 million impressions. I'm not sure what's going on in that show. Uh, I think it's the new season that's that's out now. So that's why it's it's made it back on the charts. 
Okay, so uh, that's really, really interesting. I know yeah. this is on Showmax, right? This is on Showmax, uh, season four. I believe season four is out. Hence, it's trending again. I can tell you this. This is not the first time we're going to see this because reality yep. shows, we know what they do. They garner a lot of talkability. Yep. Because of the drama, the directors say, hey, 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 I'm telling man, do this, do this, do this. <laughs> but how crazy is that? Like, Big Brother Mzanti is about to end and then another reality show comes dude, in. Dude, dude. Like, it's just, just it's a, a cycle. cycle. It keeps yeah. Coming. yeah, it's a cycle of reality. <laughs> actually, it's a cycle of reality, actually. <laughs> bars, bars. <laughs> and we, I, we haven't noticed this since we started doing stats that what happens is there re- there's always a new reality show that replaces another for talkability and reality shows yeah. are always top trending but yeah that is uh, hashtag RHO Durban that is Real Housewives of Durban sure. trending at number 5 in South Africa last week and at number 4 hashtag ain't worth it with 20,000 mentions and 23 million impressions what's up with that so ain't worth it is directed to Liam okay she, so, she ain't worth it uh, no 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 not that not okay, that okay, okay. Uh, so last week I think she had an option she was called through to the to the yes, room yes. and there was a buzzer yes so I think they offered her 250, right? Yes. 250K. Yes. And next week is the finale. So it's two weeks before the finale. Yes. She opted for the 250 instead of staying in Big Brother and then standing a chance to win two mil. Smart move. What what do you say? she was gonna win, bro. Yolanda was out. She was never gonna win. You know, so some Sol Sol used to be on Big Brother, and I saw his tweet. He was like even last season, it happened. Or oh, when the season he was in, I think. Yeah. When you are offered money. You must know. It. Time it, is up. It's, it's almost like a way of Big Brother saying to you, wakey, wakey, <coughs> you, you think you're going to win. And the last person last time is Son is saying they didn't choose the money and they're going to eliminate it the day next week. And yeah. now you walk away with nothing. So I would definitely have taken it 20 You would have. Um, definitely. Because my odds are very slim. Even though the less people have gone by, yeah. but now it's either do I, I've spent three weeks on here, and now do I walk? Oh, it's more than three weeks. Oh, it's not a month at Big Brother. It's three months. No, yeah, because it started when in Jan. It's from Jan until end of March, so it's like two months. I would take the two hundred and fifty k and be like, mm, that's maybe what I would have made while working. <laughs> what would you have done? I, I, bro, I'm I'm a patient guy, so okay. I'd probably wait out. You I'd are, wait it you're out. You're the type of guy that on deal or no deal. Ends up getting five rand. And <laughs> 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 no guts, no glory. No guts, no glory. <laughs> but you got to calculate, calculate your, your, your losses. But anyway, that is ain't worth it. Hashtag ain't worth it. Um, that is because Liam bows out. Yep. Um, with yep. 250, she bowed rand. out. So she's 250,000 rands richer than she was when she entered the show. Hey, smart move for me. You saying otherwise. You guys let us know in the comments. Would you have taken the 250k or would you have waited for the 2 million and then at number three, we've got hashtag Liam Apanza. Yeah, so they were they were trending uh, in tandem. Okay. Yeah, so they would use the double hashtag. It was a double barrel. Okay. Uh, like when you get married and you're still keeping your maiden surname, <laughs> type of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> and then on this one here, we're seeing 34,000 mentions and 52 million impressions, impressions. for hashtag Liam Apanza. Of Liam course, Apanza. we know that she is out of the show, yeah. unfortunately. But but her fans are actually excited that she's going to be on stage next week. Because next week, I guess it's, it's the final final. Oh, so There's six there. people left. Yeah. And the winner is going to come out from that six. But she's out. Yeah. Guess who's still there? Papa Ghost. <laughs> hey, I told you about Papa Ghost. I told he's you about a silent Papa killer. He's yeah, a ghost, he's a, actually. He's a ghost. He's very quiet and doing his thing. I told you. And I'm telling you, Papa Ghost is going to win this. Yeah. I'm telling at, you again. At, at this point, Liema is gone. Zintle Z is still there. Zintle Z is still Zintle there. Zintle Z is still Zintle there. But Zintle Z is too quiet. I don't see her fan base quite a lot. Maybe it's just me, but I know that um, Papa Kosa has got a fan base, bro. Makeke is also got, has a this, solid and, fan base. And he's got PR people after him. Like he, his friends. Yeah. I know his, PR, his friends are in PR. Yeah. They're pushing him strong, my nigga. Like strong. <laughs> but anyway. You Let's see if the, PR works. Uh, next week says Omon if PR works. Yeah. <laughs> Does really PR work? Yeah. Let's see. On the next episode <laughs> of... Spaza talk. <laughs> <laughs> but at number two, we've got hashtag Yolanda Munyai. She's been gone for like how long? Two weeks now. Two weeks now but yeah. she's still trending number two. Love that. With 41,000 mentions and 54 million impressions. That yep. is hashtag Yolanda Munyai. Of course, she's out to show, but she's still definitely loved and talked about quite a lot. I do know that she probably might just, I think she might be or was on courses. Coffee with Kossi. I think she was. I think when they get um, yes. uh, eliminated, 
they go to the show to have coffee with to with coffee Kos. with Kos yeah, and yeah. talk about why they went out. But yeah. anyway, at number one, of course, the usual pop 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 pop. Oh. With 129,000 mentions and 500 million impressions, of course, we know it fluctuates. Sometimes it gets to a billion. I think it's because so Liam is gone. That's why it's, it's a gone billion. Down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other's definitely gone. Now it's just about my impressions. Oh, young but dog. those are your top trending hashtags from last week, M Zanzi my nigga. Um, you guys tell me what was trending on your topics. I know that there's quite a lot happening. We've seen that there's a lot of stories about Uber drivers doing some nasty things on the roads. Um, people complaining about Uber generally mm. not being the service that it used to be. Um, for those that use Uber quite a lot, they'll tell you, you know, no, you no longer get water, sweets. Nobody even just like there's no Make, Mexi taxis smiling wherever they are. But, the Mexi taxis with their old uh, Corollas, they are smiling like Sinchelile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely smiling and definitely uh, not impressed with us. But anyway, that's what was happening during the week. I'm just looking here on the X platform. What's trending now, bro? What's happening? Like I know that there's um, a few things obviously that are happening. Yeah. Um, Love FNB is obviously one of the hashtags that's on there. And that's a non-sponsored brand post, which is interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mechali is obviously trending right yes. now on my timeline for various kind of things. I think obviously with the boyfriend that she's currently with. The new BF. The new BF, yeah. And then the MK party is obviously here. So as part of the hashtags. Um, yeah, I think the ANC is taking um, controversies to the high court. They've been at it, man. They've ANC should it, just yes. give up now. It's fine, guys. Yeah, no, that's definitely um, a lot happening. But yeah, uh, let me see what else is happening. So, so yeah, the season finale is definitely coming up, which is interesting. Majita Monday. Majita <laughs> Monday is here. What's happening with Majita Monday? <laughs> ma, ma, in Monday is boys' holiday. Yeah, ma, yeah Monday is boys' holiday. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to the people that were mentioned the most on Twitter in South Africa last the week. The Murekis, the guys that Elon Musk is going to pay yeah. during Easter. When Jesus comes back, Elon is paying. I think they got paid actually. Already. I think I mean it's a When do they pay them? The fifteen? They're like cops. I think yeah. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so so I'm a you know who to stop at the roadblock. Number one, number five on Julius. the list is Julius Malema. Stop that man. He's, He's got money market. from Elon. He's at Elon. He's coming in at number five as the number most five. mentioned in South Africa with 13,000 mentions mm. and 157 million impressions. But of course, we know that there's quite a lot happening with Julius Malema and of course the EFF party. And, and telling people to up. have more babies. And telling people to have more babies. We spoke about that a little bit earlier and that's why he's actually on here. A lot of yep. people are just tagging him and having their Some are heavy. On it. They've started Some the journey. Not. And you know this grant thing, I mean, you know, we, they talk about a universal grant. So Elon Musk talks about, an, um, or not, is it Elon Musk? Yeah, he talks about it bill gates i think talks with bill gates but there's two of these guys they talk about the universal grant happening at some point and so i think julius malema is just trying to push the same agenda of trying to increase the grant in south africa because the universal grant is going to be way more than that in in the future when it happens what, so, what's a universal grant oh, it's sorry. exactly like the grant we're getting now so everybody in the world gets a grant so that we oh wow yeah so they oh if i'm number 350 yeah, they ah. were, they're literally saying, I mean, they don't know, the mechanics of it haven't been taken out yet, but literally everybody's getting a, a grant. Interesting. The future is very interesting. Yeah, so Juju is on here for many reasons, of course. And then at number four, who do we have, Brian? He's been here before. Yeah, I'm Blue J. I'm underscore Blue J. With 14,000 mentions and 42 million impressions. That is absolutely dope. Yeah, and of he, course, he, he's, the he's, the, he's the instigator. Yes, he's the instigator. He definitely is the instigator. Do you know why he's here? He's the one that blew um, Michali's cover. Oh, what's the Michali is, is in Florida, Miami, and the, and the homie is also there. So okay. he was putting one plus one. He's exposing his own homie because homie is from Zen. Oh, is it? Yeah, he's playing for the wrong team. He's playing for Bafana Bafana. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the M. Blue J coming at number four. And the most mentioned in South Africa because he did say quite a lot of things. Like he said, he actually talked about the Michelle story and it became quite a big deal mm, um, mm, on social mm. media. And he's and getting threats now, apparently. Of course, he's going to yeah. get threats. But we know these guys hardly ever reveal who they truly are. Of course, but we know Black Twitter can find you. Eh? Hard. Hard. Oh. You can't hide from Black Twitter. No, you can't. You cannot. Just like at number three, you cannot hide from our number three. Destiny Z. 
Destiny will put you on blast. You'll think your Twitter got one like. No one saw it. Destiny will put it up again. For fine. sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But uh, you know, the, the difference between like an M Blue J and a Testy Z Z is that M Blue J is absolutely chasing a lot of clouds because he will he will say like um, the breaking news, like yeah, real, like yeah. stories, you know what I mean? Like news, real news. He, he'll come up with st- stuff like that. He'll say stuff like that. And obviously, there are some Michelin news and celebrities yeah. and stuff like that. But... Uh, Destiny Z just check, makes jokes, bro. That's all. Yeah. That's all she does. Like, hey, it's there. They didn't see it. Let me put it on the spotlight. For sure, yeah. So coming at number three with 16,000 mentions and 148 million impressions. That is at Destiny Z coming in as the most mentioned in South Africa. And at number two, we've got MDNS News with 20,000 mentions and 186 million impressions. Yep, yep, yep. You know, they provide the news. I think, uh, yeah. They even go even the, the story that you're talking about that happened on the M1, I think he... The account covered it. I can't say <laughs> he, they, yeah, yeah, the yeah. account covered it. You know, sure, that's the way yeah. I saw it on For MTN sure. News. And then number one, number the one toxic. is the most. I think, I, do you think he listens to our podcast? I don't know. He's toxic, bro. I if he listened, we'd actually. probably get like a million views. He's <laughs> worth a million views, this guy. <laughs> so at Chris X, I'll come in at number one with 24,000 mentions and 126 million impressions. And this is week after week. We're seeing him coming at number one for quite a long time. So shout out to Chris Excel for coming at number one. You guys are clearly mentioning him the most. Yeah, Chris is rich now. Yeah. Chris yeah. is rich, bro. He must this Easter, you'll be buying Easter eggs for the whole of Eastern Cape. <laughs> <laughs> Easter, <laughs> Easter, Eastern, Eastern Cape. Cape. Oh. Hey, pause. <laughs> <laughs> and then our end of the week. End of the week. End of the week. Actually, there's nothing. There, there's an ad that dropped a Audi that Ogilvy worked on. It's it's an AI ad. Yes. I think it's an AI ad. Something like that. But yes, it's man. not out yet. I just saw the visuals. I'm waiting for the video. So once the video drops, it will be... So it's our... Uh, it's at the end of the week because I haven't seen it yet. I, I need yeah. to see it and scrutinize it. And then okay. we'll, we'll, we'll put it on stage next week and see how if it made it or not. For sure. So right now you're saying you can't really have an opinion, but you saw the, saw yeah, the advert. Yeah. Can we, do we have a link for it or not yet? Not yet. There's no link yet. All right. It's, so it's just visuals. Okay. Yeah. They so were just talking about it now. on, uh, what is it? Biz community. Oh, biz community. Yeah. Dope, dope, dope articles. Uh, is that everything for the week, Manika? That's all for the week, my G. That is all for the week on Spaza Talk. And of course, uh, Umshuti Wabashuti is in the building. What week are we talking about here? We're talking from the 18th till the 24th. Yeah, week 11. Week 11. That is week 11. And this is episode 61 of Spaza Talk. And of course, before we actually leave the episode, we've got to do the the thank our sponsors. Pay the bills. The main sponsor, Color Space. Definitely check them out. www.colorspace.co.za Those guys are doing amazing stuff in Africa, man. (laughs) <laughs> definitely <laughs> amazing stuff in africa and of course never forget brandwatch where we get the stats brandwatch shout out to you guys definitely shout out to brandwatch go to if you're definitely looking for the same stats or you can also hit us up and we can pull the stats and shout out to us shout out to us for real yeah. yeah um again i was saying that any influencer any brand or company that's actually looking for stats i know that twitter gives you stats but we can actually we do, can do, do a do deep dive on, yeah, give you a stats, solid yeah. proper report for sure yeah and so we've helped people like running with Tumi Sola mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if Just you're allowed to, to even mention that hey. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna expose <laughs> 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 he's one of them there's, there's actually more we've worked with with other big brands that we can't mention here uh, for but sure. yeah if you need help with that uh, you can reach out to us if you want to get the tool itself we can point you in the right direction but if you want us to help you we're here to do that Definitely, but from Shooty Waba Shooty, I will check you guys next week. This is Spaza Talk. Peace. Peace out. Ciao. Introducing Color Space, a stock photo platform dedicated to showcasing images of black people. Whether you're a professional photographer or you just know your way around a smartphone, sign up, submit your photos, and start earning through your creativity. Visit www.colorspace.co.za.